<laughs> Battling crippling depression and PTSD is something that all gamers have to go through, especially after the long delayed release of Half-Life 3. However, prescription drugs and the guidance of trained psychiatric professionals are only temporary solutions created with the utmost advances in medical science. Lovely Planet is a game that is designed to destroy sadness and woe like Valve destroyed my life, HOW COULD YOU?! <coughs> Sorry about that, um, Lovely Planet. It's a first person shooter just like Half-Life and Half-Life 2. But it's based around being quick and accurate. Like a speedrun, your objective is to dart around the colourful levels, shooting the painfully cute enemies and making it to the exit. The competitive integration of online leaderboards and best times is something I don't personally enjoy. For instance, when I play any racing game, I enjoy getting first, but time trials and stuff like that just was never my thing. Speed is not the only thing that counts in Lovely Planet. Armed with your plum firing gun, your objective of each level is to destroy the red enemies and leave the greyish allies intact. Later levels introduce flying objects that must be shot before they touch the ground. No level can be completed without defeating all enemies. To add to this difficulty, there are three stars per level to attain, with one being the 100% accuracy star. Needless to say, 100% completion of Lovely Planet is masochistic at best, and in the midst of the maddening pace and continuous failures, you'll simply have to wake up and sm smell, the, smell the ashes. Lovely Planet was developed by Quick Tequila, which, if you jumble the letters and add and remove a few, spells Half-Life 3 is never coming. <laughs> it's, it's charming visuals and upbeat music focuses around having a pleasant and enjoyable time, even if you are a downtrodden citizen of a post-apocalyptic world under the oppressive rule of the Combine. <laughs> The whole addictive pull of Lovely Planet Episode 1 The Phantom Menace is that your speed allows you to dodge enemy fire, albeit with a reduced aim to your own gun. Therefore it becomes this balance of staying mobile, challenging aim and dodging enemy fire as well as the many numerous obstacles each course lays out in your attempt to reach Lovely Planet. A planet where Valve is not so cruel. So, uh, the, uh, the plot is thus. You play Gordon Freeman, a Black Mesa scientist caught in a terrible experiment that transported him to the realm of Lovely Planet, and in the process becomes a Kawhi rabbit with a gun to vanquish the evil Gabons of this world. With the power of friendship in his heart, nothing can stop him in his quest to release the majesty that will be the third Half-Life game. <laughs> yes, yes, that's it. <laughs> you, will, uh, you will like this game if you like first-person shooters. Kawhi and Overlord Gaben. <sighs> Lovely Planet, not Half-Life 3, receives an indie bin recommendation.